Welcome back. Defend black women. It's much more than just a popular hashtag. In tonight's The Next 400, CN Yorker introduces us to a local activist using art as a tool for change. It was the chant heard all around the city. No cop, no. No cop, no. And the idea came from this woman, Alana Garrett Ferguson, the 28 year old community activist who's leading the movement here in Cleveland, Defend Black Women. When you think of Defend Black Women, document it and make the art visible in a way that speaks to you. Because what it means to defend black women for you is not the same for me. Garrett Ferguson has been on the ground for years shaking things up and trying to hold those in power accountable. But she tells me she felt even more compelled this year after the deaths of George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery when people all over the world took to the streets to protest police brutality in communities of color and systematic racism. But she noticed the conversations rarely focused on black women. According to a Washington Post database, since 2015, nearly 250 women in total have been killed by police officers. 48 of those women, one-fifth, were black. Research shows the conviction rate is low in all of those cases. In that time frame, there have been only two cases where officers were charged. One police officer was acquitted, while the other case is still pending. In comparison, there have been five cases since 2015 where police officers were charged in the shootings of white women. Three of those resulted in a conviction. Garrett Ferguson says it's disheartening. We don't have the privilege of being fragile. We don't have the privilege of being graceful or anyone really seeing us as victims. We are always seen as survivors. And that is harmful because at the same time, they're stripping away a part of our humanity. And so she organized a call to action. What does it mean to defend black women? To defend black women means to allow them to have their complete autonomy to exist in a world that is free of state sanction and gender based violence. For them to be able to receive quality health care, for them to be able to have children and have their children live past the age of one, to have their children grow up and not have to be worried about them being gunned down in the street by law enforcement or anyone else. It is allowing black women to make more than just 62 cents of a dollar of a white man, but actually paying them for their worth and their all of their time. It is allowing black women to live in environments that is free of harmful toxins. And the list goes on. But she started planning, designing a series of events that would focus solely on black women, addressing some of the issues and providing solutions. There was art. There was activism. We take a moment of silence and a call to action. We need to be believed. We need to be nurtured. We need to be loved. Garrett Ferguson knows there's much work to be done, but she believes united, black women can make real change. We listen to different sides of the story that we use different tools. We use the election tools. We use the, the tools of artistry. We use the tools of grassroots activism. We use all of these tools together. We have to work together. We have to hear everybody. And it is that is the only way that we're actually going to be able to have the liberation of black women. Garrett Ferguson talked about some of the issues plaguing black women Coming up on 19 News at 11, I introduce you to one mother who had a high-risk pregnancy. She shares her experiences and how she believes that she can help save other women. Reporting in Cleveland for the next 400, CN New Yorker, 19 News.